guys, Charlani here. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am so excited to share what is about to happen with you guys. So without further ado, let's just dive right into this. I have been collecting seeds and Dahlia tubers over the last couple of months. And I am ready now to create a game plan of what I am going to start in seed, what I might direct sow, and just kind of go from there. Then later we're going to plant some of the plants that I have here. So you can see that I actually have some hyacinth here, I've got some daisies, I have a fern, I have other things that I want to get planted, I want to take them out of pots, uh, or out of their plastic pot, and put them into the terracotta pots. I have been collecting things over these last couple of weeks, especially when it comes to my pots and I just wanna get things planted up. So, I just recently posted a video and I was like, I'm gonna wait to do the outside things until I finish the inside spring cleaning projects. But here's the deal. So, at first I was thinking that I was just gonna direct sow everything. I have lots of Dahlia tubers, but I, and I was just gonna direct sow them into the new flower bed that I have. I'm gonna show you all of that too. I'll show you the space that I have to use for my cut flower garden. I'm gonna, if we have time, we will actually build the flower bed that I purchased because I wanna put it out there because I wanna see if there is a chance that I might be able to either put two or maybe put a couple of smaller ones somewhere out there but I'll show that to you, we can decide together. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna start my seeds inside. Um, I also wanna start my tubers inside. And the reason is because I have a small space, well, it's not a small space, but I have a limited amount of space to plant everything. And I wanna make sure that what I am planting out there is a viable tuber or my seeds are good. I don't want to waste valuable real estate for plants and flowers that are not going to thrive out there. So it just kind of makes sense now to figure out what seeds are good, what tubers are good. I did buy a bag of Dahlia tubers at Costco, and most of the tubers, because you can see them through the bag, look really good, but there is one that I know for a fact is not gonna be good, and I would hate to have planted that and have it not do anything, and then I could have used that spot for something that would thrive out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and my first plan of action is to go through all of the seeds that I have. And I think we'll go inside for this part because I might need to use my laptop and do a little bit of research too, just to make sure that I am covering all my bases. Listen, I am very much a beginner when it comes to cut flowers but I am obsessed. I have been so inspired by Floret Farms, and if you've not read, like if, if Cut Flowers is your deal, then you would love this book, and I, you can see I'm going through it again, but I am reading this like cover to cover, and it basically, not only is it absolutely beautiful, but she talks step by step how to get prepared, how to dig in and really get your beds uh, ready for your garden. And oh, I absolutely love this book. This has been my Bible for sure. And then I also got this, which is A Year in Flowers. And from what I understood, because I saw her on a, it was a podcast, I think, Anyway, she was saying that this is kind of your first book, like the how-to, and this is just your inspo book of what do you want to plant. And I will tell you guys that this book is probably one of the most beautiful books I have ever seen in my whole entire life. And if you can see that, oh my gosh, look at that. It's absolutely amazing. I will 
link these for you down below so that you know exactly what books I'm talking about. But they are awesome. And like I said, they have been like my go-tos and what I have been absolutely reading for the last little bit just because I like, I want to get it right. I like, I really want to plan it out and I want to get it right. So I have tried in the past to create um, a cut flower garden, but I did it all wrong. <laughs> and I just, for now, I am going to do the very best that I can and hope that I come up with these beautiful flowers. I love putting together bouquets. I love styling up vases. And usually I just go to uh, Trader Joe's and or I'll go to Whole Foods and buy my flowers. If I can grow them myself, game changer. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab what I need to do for my research. I have my seeds here. In fact, I'm just going to grab this basket right here. So this is going to go in my garden area too. So what we'll do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to do a little bit of research. I'm going to plan out the things that I need to plant and get started in my trays and then we'll come out here and we'll get a little dirty and we'll do a little bit of planting so here is what we are working with and here's so i've got floret farms it's actually floretflowers.com i've got this up because you can actually go in and you can search and it will give you some information so that is just something that is a hundred percent good to know so i've got this up in case i need to look anything up here and then i've also got my seeds here i've got my dahlia so this is what i got at costco so i want to read all of these things i want to just look and see when they're supposed to germinate when the tubers themselves are supposed to like show through the soil all the things i'm going to do that for all of these packets as well because this is what is going to really help me plan out what i need to start to plant now and then when am i going to be able to put it outside we've got sunflowers cosmos zinnias poppies marigolds we've got a flower mix here and a flower mix here which is a whole bunch of goodies which oh i cannot wait for that i've decided not to do these sunflowers because these are the ones that get like five to eight feet tall i i'm not about that this year um and then i've got a whole bunch of herbs here that will go in my herb cart so that's there and then I've also got these right here and again I'll go back through and we'll read the backs of everything and just make sure that timing wise that everything that I plant today or the seeds that I start today will be ready to go out into the garden over the next few weeks. So. We'll actually head outside and I'm going to show you the area that I have, uh, the space that I have for my cut flower garden. And then what I think we'll do is come back in and create that game plan on how we're going to tackle all of our seeds. So let's come back. Let me show you outside. This is the area that I have. So I have a raised garden bed that will go right here. It is going to be four feet by eight feet. And once I get that out here, we'll just kind of see how much space I have on either side. This is what I'm going to use probably like just down on the lower part of my flower bed, just because we're going to put compost and all the good stuff on top of it. That'll just be like filler stuff down at the bottom. So that's why that is here. But we do have some things. These are fruit trees. I know we've got some kiwis back here. We've got another kiwi right here. And we're not sure exactly what we're gonna do yet, but I'm thinking, and I talked to Rob about it yesterday, that we're going to do like arches here so that we can have all of the raspberry or the black blackberries grow up this way and then I'll have all of this to plant down here. Now this area gets sun the majority of the day like it 
bakes back here. It is about seven o'clock, I think, right now, so there's no sun back here now, but during the day, this gets plenty of sun. So we're gonna have some of this as a flower bed for me down at down below. We've got rainwater right here, and I don't know if you guys have one of these, but these are awesome and this is super filled so i've got rainwater right here my vision for this whole area right here is just that it is going to be beautiful and colorful we're going to have lots of different things i'm going to have pots kind of lined up from here all the way over yeah i'm so excited for it i cannot wait so this is kind of like the before and I'm hoping that the after will be amazing too. By the way, in the last video, I had shared that I was going to use this as a video planning, kind of spring cleaning project planning board. That was done and I'm feeling really good about it. So many things we have coming up and this is not one of them. <laughs> this is not, this is like an added bonus, but you know what? I'm so excited about it. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm just going to figure some things out. I'll pop back in to you guys and kind of explain what I figured out and we'll go from there. What I did was, so if you look here, I wrote on here the days to emerge or germinate, 10 to 30 days. This pack and this pack, they do not recommend starting indoors. It says right there on the back, it actually says that it is not recommended to start inside. So I can actually go ahead and I'm gonna plant these. I've got a little note here as to how I want to plant them. So for these, you get 20 seeds per square foot and rake them in. That goes into a pot. So I'm gonna do the same thing for these and then I can actually get those pots planted up. So I'm very excited about that. So all the rest of them, I'm going to plant in the seed trays, get them all started because we are definitely within our last frost date. In fact, our last frost date is in a couple of weeks, and you can see that these are four to six weeks before last frost date, four to six, or two to four here, four to six here, four to six here, four to six for most of these. So I actually could have started these seeds a couple of weeks ago, but it's okay. It's just we're a little tiny bit behind, but that is not a big deal. And then the dahlias, it will take two to four weeks for these tubers to sprout. That is what it said on the online things. And from what I remember as well from like Garden Answer and things that I've watched on Floret Farms. And I will link below like the favorite, my favorite gardeners that I watch online. Um, Cause I've learned so much from so many of our fellow YouTubers and Google and just so many resources out there. If, if it's something that you wanna do, you absolutely have the resources to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and create a workstation <laughs> that is functional because right now this is not working for me. I need a clear space. Then I'm going to fill one of these up with our planting mix. We've got compost, all the things in here. I really do have everything I need and we'll get to seed planting. I'm very excited. This garage space is a mess and it is not my preferred area to do projects, but my goal is to someday have a super cute cottage type greenhouse where my flowers and pots can live. But for now this works and I can make a mess and it won't be a big deal. And coming up soon, probably in these next couple of weeks is our garage spring cleaning. It's going to be very satisfying for sure.
you know what? My thought is before I get my hands really dirty, I'm gonna go ahead and write the names of all the seeds on these so that my hands won't be full of dirt when I grab my pen. I kept referring back to my notes on how many seeds to plant and how deep. Some were to be raked in, some said to plant a quarter inch deep, others said to barely cover. So it was really helpful to have that written on the front of each packet. Just made it simpler than having to keep flipping the seed packs over. And I decided to use these seed starter peat pots. I got them on Amazon because I didn't think that the trays, you can kind of see them off to the bottom right there, were big enough. But Rob said that the trays would have been just fine. It's been very helpful to have a gardener in the house for sure. Here's what I've got so far. We've got the marigolds here, cosmos, gerberas, sunflowers. We've got extra zinnias right here. And then this is a whole tray of zinnias. They're one of my favorites. So we're gonna go ahead and plant them up. And then over here, I've got a little bit of the mix left. So I'm debating on the dahlias and how I want to do it. I'm gonna do some research tonight and I'll come back in um, it'll be tomorrow morning and I'll decide what it is that I want to do, how I want to go about it. Uh, so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish planting up all of these flowers, the ones that I've got down here. We're going to get those potted into some pots and then we're going to call it a night. lot longer to just double check and reread and make sure that I was doing it right in planting all of the seeds. So it took me a lot longer to do all of that than I had anticipated. So I am actually going to think about it a little bit tonight of how I want to start the dahlias. We'll see. I am debating on waiting until I get that flower bed made and ready to go or start them in containers. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna do a little bit of research tonight. And then these flower mixes, these are both where you just um, direct sow. These are not to be started inside. And I'm debating on actually going out there and planting them directly in the dirt in one of the flower beds, like right there. It says I can, four to six weeks, and then two to four weeks before last frost, we are there. So I'm gonna give that a little bit of thought because my other thought was that I would plant them in these big old terracotta pots, but I don't know that I want to do that. I'm thinking that I might just want to put these in, where are they? Put these directly into the garden. Um, they get 18 to 48 inches tall, and this is 8 to 48 inches tall. So I'm going to give it a little bit of thought, see how I want to do it, and then we'll come back tomorrow morning, and I will have a better game plan. I'll show you real quick what I've already potted up. We've got the fern in there, we've got the fiddle leaf fig, and then I've got my succulents there. I love the way these came out. I think it just looks so pretty. I don't know where these are going to live just yet. I will keep you posted, but I'm gonna give everything a really good water. And here they are under the grow lights. Oh, so exciting. We have lots of things going on in here. 
This is all Rob's stuff. <laughs> We've got tomatoes and bell peppers and all the things. Jalapenos, geez, trees, literally all the things. And then here we have on top, We've got this pot of zinnias, and then this, if I decide to go ahead and start the dahlia tubers, they're all going to live right here. Good morning, guys. Okay, so it is the next day. I did some research last night. We are gonna go ahead and plant up the dahlia tubers, but first, before we get that going, I'm actually gonna plant these calla lilies. They are just beautiful. I read up and watched a ton of videos and there are so many ways to start tubers and growers are very passionate about their techniques. Some people swear by just barely covering the tubers with dirt in trays and some say to plant anywhere from two inches to four inches deep in pots. So I had to use what I had on hand and my pots weren't that big but I figured it was a good, like happy medium and I decided to cover them completely about three inches down and then I watered them in just a little bit. I did moisten the soil a little but also gave them just a quick drink but not enough to saturate them. I'm hoping this is a good technique that I'm using. I don't know, we'll see. Here are all of the dahlia tubers planted up. And I will tell you, I don't know. <laughs> I'm unsure, very unsure about all of the tubers that I got from Costco. And I'm sad because the Mottos were my favorite because they were the bright orange and the Maldinis were my favorite. They were the bright pink and the the tubers did not look good, I'll be honest. They really did not. The Nordwick's Glory, that also did not look great. I do have some hope for the Thomas Edison. And these are the two that, they were really long tubers. So I knew I needed to get one in here. And this tuber looked really good. So I was thinking, okay, we'll just do that. <laughs> but we will see. I mean, who knows? It's my first time doing it. 
to be honest, I don't really know what a healthy and unhealthy tuber looks like. And some looked great, some didn't look so good. But obviously the ones with like mold on them, <laughs> I didn't plant those and I just cut that part off. So we will see. I've done my best with the knowledge I have and what I'm working with, but I'll tell you that this has been such a fun process for me. I'm really excited for this growing season. I've always loved plants and shrubs and flowers and you guys know how much I love my hibiscus, but this is the first year of creating my own flower garden and I cannot wait for it. We still have these seeds that I need to direct sow. I am not going to do that today because it is absolutely storming outside and just it would not be a good day to do this. And we decided instead of putting them in the pots, these are the ones that I showed you earlier, we're not going to put them in these pots. We're actually going to put them outside and we're gonna direct sow them right into the flower beds. I have all of the packaging for the dahlias, and I'm just going to make some notes on a lot of the tubers, like which ones I think would look good. You know what I should have done is on the tags, I should have rated each of the tubers, like one through 10, 10 being really good, like the ones with the little sprouts already. I should have marked those like 10. Like I think those are gonna be really good because obviously they're viable. But the other ones I should have ranked on like a scale of one to five because I am not sure how those are going to do. But you know, you just never know. Plants are resilient, so we'll just have to see what happens. So I also have all of my seeds here. I wrote like how many days to germinate or when they're supposed to emerge. And instead of carrying these around, I'll just have my notebook and that way I'll easily be able to see what is supposed to be like sprouting now. <laughs> I think it'll just make it a little bit more streamlined, a little more of a system, if you will. And listen, I am super new to all of this, so my system is absolutely going to evolve over time, but I will tell you, this was so much fun, and it just feels really good to get your hands dirty, get some seeds started, get our tubers planted, and now we just wait and we'll see what comes of it. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you did. And if you'd like to get notifications when I post videos, don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.